All right, so this should be a pretty popular battle. It's a unique one. I haven't seen anyone else do it. This is going to be Mark, a.k.a. Invincible from the series Invincible, which just got its own show, versus uh, All Might, the main character, one of the most popular characters on the market from My Hero Academia. He's not the main character, but he's the icon of the series. And... Um, I just think this is a very interesting matchup. Two very likable characters. And we're going to see what happens if these two were to clash. Now, Invincible, we'll just say because the scenario is hilarious. Invincible crossed over and was attending the Hero Academy. Beefed with All Might because All Might was showing uh, favoritism. And the two clashed. So who would win if the two would clash? We're going to find out. If you like content like this, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to become a member of my member server and join the League of Villains, hit me up in the comment section and I'll explain how we can begin that process. Also, if you can't tell by now, I'm outside again. Uh, if you hear some birds chirping, that's a natural background, baby. But anyways, let's get into it. I am going to discuss All Might first. Now... All Might, in terms of strength, I've seen calcs for easily him being mountain busting. Even at some of his weaker points, he was city busting. Uh, he's thrown punches that have literally reshaped the weather. Uh, prime is what I want to talk about, though, because I'm going to try to be considering him in his prime or figuring out what that was. And if you want a detailed All Might video, make sure to let me know. But... In his prime, it was discussed in My Hero Academia um, Vigilante, I believe, that All Might has the inherent power to do two things. One, completely save the world. Or two, completely destroy it. Now, at first, I was like, oh, this might just be figurative. Like, he could take it over, become very influential using his power to bop everybody else. No, it does restate like a couple lines later. Indeed, he could literally destroy it. So it's interesting to consider potentially Prime All Might being planet busting material. Would be dope, would be lit, would give the MHA fans something to root for. Now, speed wise, I think FTL Plus is pretty comfortable. He's well above a character who can fire be uh, laser beams. As well as he's dodged explosions point blank casually, like without trying at all, not near peak power. Um, I don't see why FTL Plus isn't reasonable for him. Uh, not even getting into all the calcs out there. There's a lot of calcs for All Might that's been done already. Uh, but just even looking at the feats for what they were, with a character that's like a, a jobber compared to him, casually firing laser beams as one of their quirks. Um, and all might be in blatantly the fastest among all of them uh, ftl plus should be fine durability wise uh, i don't like to waste much time when it scales basically to ap however his stamina is pretty trash when he's not in his prime in his prime it's got to be a lot better but out of prime he was struggling i believe the first cap was three hours and then it significantly went down over time but yeah his stamina uh even in prime can be questionable um so that can be an interesting factor in the battle moving on to intelligence he more so relies on determination raw power um to win over his foes and changing fate with his punches as he likes to say however he does have pretty good uh recognition of danger strategy he sees uh the bigger picture a lot of times he's put in charge of evaluating the next generation of talent to come through the hero academy uh he observes them and overlooks them during skill challenges so i would say his intelligence is kind of slept on like i've seen people in other versus battle not give him a lot of love now while he is smarter than giving credit for uh, i'm not gonna go out of my way and act like he's gonna sit there and just completely break down the fight like atachi would or someone like that and you know just be next level with the game planning I don't see that occurring, however, I do think he's smarter than most give him credit for. Skill-wise, um, he's a top-tier hero, so he does have the hero skill training we see portrayed throughout the series, and he obviously was very good. 
Um, he's a talented striker at the very least, able to perfectly place punches to either one shot, severely damage foes, or cause great damage in large area of effect type maneuvers like the United States of Smash. Now that gets us more so into the hacks, abilities, and gear. Doesn't carry gear or equipment really, but he has some degree of fate hacks. I would consider him extremely lucky at worst, but his fate hacks, basically he's the hero. Uh, at some point in Vigilante and States, he's like the Deus Ex Machina. Uh, he's the hero in general and fate changes for him because of his punches, all that good stuff. I don't know to the extent his fate manip matters in a versus matchup, especially because it's not fated to happen. It's just a versus matchup. It gets weird, but he does have fate hacks to an extent. He also can amp himself and control his own power output perfectly. He also has environmental devastating moves, like I stated before, even to the point that one of his smashes was able to bring a storm into the area and produce a storm in the area. Weather minute, baby. He's storm with it. But anyways, that's All Might side of things. The beloved hero from My Hero Academia. On the other side is Mark from Invincible. When he initially started out, he was the typical comic book teenage jobber. However, Mark does have power stemming from his dad, aka Omni-Man, who is fast enough to fly across galaxies in one breath, which is 15 minutes. Mark is not as fast as him, but even in the early series, Mark was able to sum up, keep up with him, at least at worst flying through cities casually, stopping crime, uh, flying out of orbit casually, uh, easily on par in speed with All Might, in my opinion might be faster, but um, at least at the young age on par, and we'll get into what he does. We're going to only cover him up to around Conquest arc era because um, older stomps but anyways moving on attack potency wise he is able to fight uh, an alien named Alan Allen is able to casually withstand the gravitational force of a star um, they weren't going all out but the fact that he was able to fight him and contend with him and he only gets stronger after that is very impressive um, and does make his AP Quite formidable when facing All Might. Durability, he scales above his AP. He's able to take attacks from opponents who clearly outscale him. This would include early on when Conquest was beating him up or when he got mauled by Omni Man. He's able to take more than he can dish out, so I'd say his durability is a little better than his AP. Intelligence wise, won't blow you out of the water. He's still a teenager. Nothing too crazy in terms of fight IQ or his IQ in general at least at that young age. He does improve some with time, but it's nothing to write home about. Skill-wise, same thing. He doesn't even have that much confidence at this point in his abilities, and he's not super skilled. He's training and getting better, but he's not elite level skill. Hacks, abilities, and gear, he can fly, hold his breath in space, obviously withstand leaving orbit, uh, super speed, super strength, super durability. Now, if these two were to collide, let's say, like I said, Mark crosses over to my hero and beefs with the professor, big All Might, who would win in this clash? So, in terms of skill and all that, even fight IQ, I think All Might has those advantages. Um, he's smarter, way more experienced, um, been in more fights, all that. However, all of the physical edges I have to give to Mark um and i think speed i think he's a lot uh when he gets enraged right and when he got older approaching the conquest arc i think his speed especially going all out especially when he believes that um his people are in danger or he's in danger he turns up quite a bit and i think he's faster than all might um he's gonna be able to tag him he can take any hit that all might dishes out even in the hypothetical prime which is why i brought it up He's able to take beatings from beings that com uh, completely commit planetary genocides casually. Um, and they fly across ga galaxies easily. They resist the gravitational force of stars easily. Things like that. He's able to take hits from these beings. So I don't see All Might being able to hurt him. I don't see the Fate Manip stuff being much of a big deal in this battle. And overall, 
because of his physical advantages, given his genetic um, advantages, his inherent abilities, I favor Mark, a.k.a. Invincible. Anyways, guys, if you want to see a rematch where maybe Omni-Man or Mark invade the verse in general, they have prep time, all that, let me know if you want to see more of My Hero content let me know as well or a detailed breakdown of either of these characters anyways it's been your boy yfe let me know what you think anyways i'll see y'all later peace